Hello YouTube, this is a video about this Spitfire here which uh, quite a few people have asked for a uh, build video of which I didn't do when I was building it but uh, here's a little video of uh, how I built it. So we'll have a look inside and there is a MyFly Dream autopilot in there, a microphone, uh, two Hobby King HXT 900 servos. Uh, the battery, let me find one of the batteries, we've got one up here, here's one of these jobbies, hey, oh, we've got tape all over them, you can't see, it is a 5000 milliamp 4S 25C uh, cheapo battery from Hobby King, and that goes in the front, right here, see if I can fit it in there, see how handy, oh no, there's one in there already, so yeah, that's where it goes, in there, like that, and the camera arrangement is uh, standard Sony HS177, I think they call it. Uh, and the GoPro sits in that cradle underneath it. And the servo for the pan is under there. That is a uh, GWS, it's in the listing, something 22BB, I don't know what, 360 degree servo. Uh, that's that bit. The motor. In the front here, which only just fits, is a uh, SK3 800 kV motor, uh, and then underneath there is a 60 amp Hobby King Plush ESC. And you'll notice that everything is absolutely as far forward as it can go, including the ESC, which is tucked right under the motor there. Um, the C of G was really hard to get right on this, and it is uh, with the battery in uh, without the GoPro. Actually, without the GoPro, on, I can't really do it, but it's it's kind of it's kind of here somewhere, sort of. About a third of the way along the cord of the wing. Um, okay, so that's the top. So it runs on Easy UHF. That's the uh, 433 meg antenna there. And for video, it is 1.3 gigahertz, and that's a IB Crazy. Uh, it's not a skew planer. It's a, a clover leaf, um, three element aerial. Uh, with the MFD autopilot, it's got airspeed sensing on it. Um, it's really annoyingly they snap pretty much every time you land. Those tubes are really brittle, which is very annoying. But uh, that's so short it doesn't snap now. Okay, and underneath it's just a real mess to be honest. It's just covered in tape. In there's your uh, 800 uh, milliwatt 1.3 uh, Parton video transmitter, and the other side is a diversity. Uh, UHF easy UHF receiver and oh if I can rest it here so one of the aerials comes out the top of the wing and the other one comes back along the wing there's probably a better arrangement than that but really it was the only place I could fit it without too much stuff poking out into the wind um, and as you can see the wingtips have um, departed after the first couple of, <laughs> couple of my appalling landings um, uh, I'm not going to repair those, I'm just going to call it a clipped wing, seems to fly right without them. Telephone number obviously on it, oh dear, I shouldn't show that on the internet probably, but there we go. It's only friends isn't it? We're all friends. Uh, and it is a, there we go, what's it, a 10, 10 by 7 prop on it. Um, again, HXT 900 servos in the wing. Um, generally with FPV planes what I like to do, if they're foam, is let a piece of wood into the foam and glue that in, clamp it in, glue it in. So you've got a good hard point to bolt your uh, control horns to. Uh, I think going through foam really has, has a, a tendency to work itself loose uh, over time. This isn't the best to be honest, there's a bit of play in the servos and things, but it's better than it would be uh, if it was just bolted through, which is quite thick foam, so it, it would squash quite easily. Uh, can't really think of much else to say, there it is. It's um again every every horn that on it I've replaced. I don't I don't trust these standard things that just kind of glue into the foam and stuff. I think really when you're kind of flying a long distance or high up, I think it's best to um, go a bit belt and braces with these sort of things. Um, and that's it. Quick little look around. I've got 14 IMAX charges there. That's the way to come back from flying. You can put them all on. And that's the ground station which I used to fly the Spitfire. Uh, so you can see the UHF, it's all a bit of a mess, I've been mucking around with stuff today. That's a UHF transmitter and a um, free sky to harness. And this is the tracker, which follows the plane. And uh, that is a CP 
a circular wireless CP patch, which I think is around 13 dB. Oh no, it's not so many. 8 dB. 8.6 dB. Well, yeah, that's not that much actually. Uh, that's for 13 or 14 dB. That's my 5.8 system. So I've got a dual system here that will run uh, together. So actually I've got a passenger system on another plane where the pilot flies in one system and the passenger can watch on another independent frequency. That then goes to my ground station. Uh, that's it really. So... There it is, Spitfire.